Super Shield Cheese Race is deservedly one of the 10 most unusual sports in the world. Its conditions are extremely simple, you need to be the first to catch the rounded head of cheese, which is launched from Cooper Hill near Gloucester. Given the gentle slope, the speed of the projectile, reaching 70 km, age and a lot of competition, this task turns into an extremely complex enterprise, fraught with dangerous injuries. Despite the fact that 10 to 30 unsuccessful athletes enter the local hospital every year, the number of people who want to test themselves anyway exceeds several thousand. Hotheads do not stop even the official prohibitions of the authorities, who are trying to ban cheese races since 2010. Can you imagine a combination of football, baseball and hockey? And in Ireland there is already a game called hurling, which fits perfectly into this description. The hurler player's outfit consists of a football uniform, a protective helmet and a wooden club. The goal of this game is to earn as many points as possible by scoring balls into the opponent's goal. A traditional sports game held exclusively for students at Eton College in England. Some compare it to rugby or football, but this is a mistake, since the Eton wall is a completely different game in which the playing field is the wall. Players move along the wall and lean against each other in the fight for the ball. If the player is close enough to the edge of the wall, he gains the right to hit the ball for a goal, which may be a tree or a door. This game is not as simple as it seems, considering that the last time a goal was scored back in 1909. This interesting game begins with the fact that one team sends an invader to the territory of the enemy. If the invader touches someone from the opposing team and escapes to his territory, he earns a point. But if the invader was touched or he was captured before he managed to escape, then the opponents get a point. Any player touched is eliminated from the game, and so on until one of the teams loses all the participants.